Today we're going to be fixing an iPhone SE, so let's get started. Oh yeah, the charger port on the SE. We're going to replace it. So, let's get to it. I know it's an older phone, but an iPhone SE is basically an iPhone 6 with an iPhone 5 body. Kind of. Ish. Not 100% sure on that, but it is kind of like that. So, first you take off the two little screws in the bottom. This is a relatively easy repair. It's not too hard. Anybody can kind of do it. Anybody can do it, you know, on the run real quick. I use a razor to get in the side there to uh, take off the screen. And um, when you get here, you don't want to rip it open because as you can see, where's this camera? As you can see here, you have this ribbon and that's for the home button. You don't want to mess that up. So shove something in there and remove the metal plate holding it in. Like that. Sometimes it's a little difficult and if it is, you gotta be careful. Last thing you want to do is rip that cable because then you have to change the home button as well. And then uh, it just makes everything not easy and not fun. There we go. Took it off and once we have that off we shall remove the screen now the reason i remove the screen you don't have to you got to take out these four screws and then also the battery we're going to remove because not remove but unplug so you can get at the ribbon here but the reason i remove the screen is just because it makes it easier you don't actually have to you can do it without removing the screen now First, remove or unplug the battery. Also, keep track of where these screws are going. Because they are kind of specific, they're not all the same. So unplug the battery, then proceed to remove the screen. It's just safer that way. Plus you can unplug it anyway, so you might as well do it first. The one screw in here is not magnetic, just let you know. I use my fingernail. If it's not long enough, you can use whatever you want. Try not to use something metal, but if you want, you know, I've done it, whatever. It usually works out for me. And then we get the screen off. So we got the phone here. So the charger port, is basically under all these screws and it's underneath the speaker and it connects right here. So let me try to get this camera up closer to the table here so you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. So anyway, first unplug it. Then what I do is I unplug the little battery, the little battery, the, uh, I unplug the antenna. Where's my, tweezers so there's a little plug here for the antenna unplug that and then we remove these screws now I put them I put these screws down in a way that I know where they go after because it gets kind of hectic if you don't know which where they go so I line them up this point we should be good to remove the so to remove the speaker this little ribbon here that connects the home button you can lift it off
it's two-way tape down to it and then you can actually lift um, lift that one up actually I'm missing one more screw this big one here that will make my life a lot easier so now this little metal cover lifts off move it aside now the speaker should come right off okay and then here's the uh, here's the charger port it's ready to come off now here's the microphone you're going to need to reuse this rubber on the new charger port by the way there is a link in the description below you can help me out by buying from amazon i usually try to get amazon prime links for these parts but uh, if i can't find it then you know i go with whatever i can find but amazon is really good for for parts if you're buying one-off parts of course if you have a store you're not gonna buy from amazon one-off you're gonna have a supplier um now we're gonna remove the charger board it makes it easier if you put some heat here on the back uh, it just makes it slightly easier to peel this look at that i like to take it off in one piece We're going to move the headphone jack. Boom! Charger port is out, ready for a new one. When you put this back in, make sure you get the headphone jack in properly. You know what's annoying is this stupid battery thing gets in the way. Um, this is just a, a sticky thing for the battery. I don't know why it came down like that. Anyway. It's freaking annoying. to put in all the stickers all the stickers I said all the stickers proceed to put in all the screws sometimes you gotta search for that headphone jack hole See, this is where it pays off to have the screws organized in a way that you just gotta grab them and put them in. You already know how they go, um, where they go, everything. It's beautiful. Oops. One thing though, before you put this one down, and even this one, you should put the speaker in first. As you can see, I made a mistake there. It's not a big mistake, but... It's a mistake nonetheless. Now the other thing you should do before screwing it all in is test it. Only reason I'm not testing it is because like I said earlier, I've already tested this on a different phone.
Okay, I'm almost good to go. Just gotta put this antenna back down on the little plug there. On the little plug. There you go, once you hear a nice little click, you're good to go. And then of course, we're gonna plug in the camera, uh, the camera, screen. I'm gonna screw the screen back in, Got a screen cover. This non-magnetized screw is a pain in the neck. No, that's not it. Yeah, it is. Just a tip. The two uh, longer screws go on the top. The two smaller ones go on the bottom. They're barely different, but they are different sizes, so. Next, you plug in the battery. Then we uh, enable autofocus. Make sure that you put the the clips of the top on the top of the screen first, and then before you close it down, after the clips are in, you plug in the uh, the home button. Now what I do, you should use a plastic tool for, tool for this. A plastic tool. <laughs> You should use a plastic tool for this, but I just get a flathead screwdriver, a little one, and I get on in there. If I break it, I have home buttons kicking around, but you know, if you don't have anything else kicking around, you don't want to break it. So, yeah, once you plug it in, gently press it all down. And make sure everything still works after you're you're tinkering. Test the home button, make sure that works. Test the plug, the plug. Beautiful, see? Make sure it's not loose. It's good. So that's all you gotta do. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll catch you later.